Welcome to technical drawing. Now in this sum we'll draw front view, top view and right hand side view. See this. Length is how much? 60. Height is 15 plus 25 plus 25. 65. And width is 50. So first we'll start with this. Now when I see from here, I can see this 10. And this height is 15. So first we will draw this L shape. See this. So we are done with this L shape. Now if you see this height, this is 7 from up. So from down it will be 8. And from there we will draw one dotted line. This is through and through. So we are drawing dotted line. Then if you see this slope, how much is this height? 30 by 20. Right? See this. This is going through and through and this slope. So this I will take 30 and this I will take 20 and I will join this. See this. Now we have to draw side view. In that we will start with circle. See this line. We'll take center point and we'll take 10 10 on both the sides. Then we'll draw a vertical line. So we are done with this box. After that, this slot. This is dovetail slot. So we can draw. 45 degree we can take height see we can take height from here and we'll take 45 degree So we'll draw dovetail slot like this. After that this circle, how much you have to go up? 25. So go up by 25 from both the sides and you can draw axis line. Then you take half of this, which is 25. And from there you can draw a circle. See this, radius 25. You take center line. And this is 10. So you take 5, 5 on both the sides. And height would be 30.
After that, we'll start with top view. So in top view, we can draw this rectangle. Always remember, circle in one view, other two views will be same. So in this, it will appear as a rectangle. We can see circle in side view. So in front view and top view, it is rectangle. This will be dark. Then you take all these lines, all four lines will be dotted because this slot is through and through. This dovetail slot is through and through. So we'll have four dotted lines in top view. rectangular part so that we can project first we will draw axis line So we are done with top view also. Now we need to draw that circle. If you can see diameter 20, that we need to draw. So that is 15 from here. Now we'll take radius 10. We'll keep it here and we can draw radius 10. Now after this, we need to project dotted line for circle. So two dotted line will come in front view and two in side view. See this extreme left point, extreme left point and right point. Same way in side view also we can project. This is radius 10. So I can take 10, 10 on both the sides. Diameter 20. So now we are done with front view top view side view you can do dimensioning like this always remember for circular object you do dimensioning diagonally as shown in the figure and you write front view top view and right hand side view we are doing it by first angle method so that's why right hand side view is on the left side it is very important from the icsc point of view to do all the labeling and dimensioning Always remember the smaller dimension will come inside and try to draw at least 8 to 10 dimensions. Thank you.